So I said I would do a before and after with the galley refit. Here it comes. Um, high on the list then. The support for the back of this step on this side has let go and dropped and it's kind of connected to the galley. So it's on my list. It's under there. It's just a block of wood there that's, that's screwed into the upright here. I need to sort that out. Anyway, that's something I can do while I'm looking at this bit. This is how it currently stands then. So it's mouldy. Somebody has tiled the fine woodwork here. Well, they've formiced it first, and they've got sick of that, then they've tiled it. Um, bit of a mess, bit of a mess. I've no idea what that slot's for, I've never known. If you know what that slot's for, please comment in the comments below. What on earth is that slot about? It's not big enough for, uh, well, maybe it was paper towels before, before kitchen rolls invented. This is a 60s boat, maybe that's what it is, maybe it's paper towel. Who knows? This door here, is an original feature and I'd really like to keep it. It matches the, um, the salon table there. I'd really like to keep that. Uh, it's been tiled right up the wall and this is all letting go. You can see it moving, the whole thing. <laughs> this has been tiled. None of these lids are hinged or attached down in any way. They can all just come out and I really don't like that. That's plywood that's been tiled. The sink is out of commission and has been since I've had the boat really. Um, so that's how it currently is. It's quite a big project that. And uh, I'll be looking at the results for some time to come. So when I'm starting on a project like that, I try and take just a few minutes to gather myself and remind myself of the standard that I've got to try and work to. Uh, because I have a nasty habit of rushing jobs that I Really, I just want them to get done, and I'm, I end up either doing them twice or just not being fully happy with the result. So what I do is I come and I look at the front of my cabin. And I look at it, and I remember how pleased I am with it and how great it looks compared to what was there before. And I just take it in for a minute. And I think about what I'm going to need to do to kind of make the galley somewhere just like that, where I look at it every time and go, yeah, that's a nice job. Right, come on then. That's a pretty good hit for this morning. I have torn it out, which is the plan really, that was the plan. I've transported all the bits that I need to ashore. I'm going to leave all this here. And now, it's back to the back seat. Clever that, isn't it? I've got some clamps here. And I've laid my old worktop on top of my nice new bit of marine plywood. I'm just going to draw along here to give me a profile. The 
sink here and I'm going to have a cool box here. That line is the, uh, the, the inboard extremity of the cupboards that I'm going to fit. Um, I've got the cooker center line marked. There's a new cooker, some gimbals that I'm halfway through making. Uh, I think the next thing really will be to cut out these holes. spent the morning um, peeling the jacket off of this uh, cool box, cheap cool box. It's one of those ones with the little electric compressor thing in the lid. Plug the electric compressor in and it probably draws, I don't know, four amps, three amps, just huge. Not workable. However, I've been consistently impressed with the performance of the cool box itself. If you put ice in there, it stays ice for three days. Uh, so I thought, what if I could bend that to my will and make it the new cool box? I didn't think there would be enough room for it, but having torn out the old galley, I believe there is enough room for it. Uh, I mean, this came with the boat. I never used it with electricity anyway, and what I've gained by doing that is a thick-walled, fully-sealed plastic box that's pre-insulated there and will fit straight into the slot between the bulkheads. So that is a complete win. It's a complete win. I've just washed it. I'll just stand it on the. This is the back. Stand that there. So this is the underneath that we're looking at now of the, the new galley. The sink will be there. Exactly there, actually. Exactly there. The cool box just beautifully fits up to the to the lid there. That's great. Excellent. So now I'm off to get some sealant so that I can fit that sink permanently. The cool box I'll take to the boat separately and fit it independently so it's supported from underneath and the side so it can't go anywhere. Then I'll fit the um, the galley top. It's a winner. That's a winner. I feel like I've got something for free there, you know. I am aboard. It's time for the first fitting of my new um, new galley top. I don't have a good feeling. Let's give it a go. Pull it out the place. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It fits. Well, kind of. Let's see. Most of it fits. It fits. <laughs> well, I'll see where pushing it in marked it in a minute. 
and just give it a bit more sanding. But I think we can say that fits. It fits, doesn't it? The cool box doesn't fit though. There's just there's less room behind there than you imagine. You know. the corner is cut off by the hull, so I'll have to shorten it a bit, which I can do. And it's one of the reasons I'm here is to try and, you know, for a bit of dicking around. I've had to accept that <coughs> my toolbox is too deep. However, even with a bit cut off, it can still be plenty big enough. So. Sooner or later you've got to be brave. And this is sooner. I've got to hope, hope that my little guesstimations and calculations are right, or right enough at least. Typical things like that. hammer on the boat. What can I hit it with? I think a cup of tea. <coughs> to sum up then, two smaller tiles instead of those big um, big ugly tiles that are on there, two smaller tiles, a nice bit of varnished Iroko surround. This is going to be the track for the cupboards back here. I've used some plastic track there that I've nailed in. And obviously a little bit of trim just to hide the plastic track really. My new cool box, all sealed, ready to go. The new sink. Um, what's left is, I've got to paint here and here of course. I've got to put a bit of trim on here, which I'll do, well, I mean, I've got the stuff for that, that'll be easy. Soon, I'll do that soon. I've got to make the doors. I've got to measure up for the top track here and fit that. I've got to do the plumbing and install the lids. I've already made the lids. I haven't got hinges, can't do them yet. Well, of course, I've got to grout that. Fantastic. I think it's looking good, to be honest. It's a massive improvement. <laughs> I'm putting the kettle on. Yeah, look, you stay there. Just put the milk in the fridge. I can dream, can't I? So I've still got loads of leaks in the cabin. To my absolute dismay and horror and frustration, I just, my God, it's the windows that are leaking now, and they are leaking onto the combing on the inside of the cabin and running down onto the, the new cushions, you know, Jesus. And, uh, you know, into here. So that I think is next on the list, is windows. Um, so you got that to forward to. Of course, next on the list really is a bit of sailing. And I'm gonna be doing that on Friday night, three days from now. So uh, we should have something interesting to look at then. Looking good, huh? See you next time. <laughs>